Hey there everybody, Red X Parasite here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon XD. In the last episode, we explored the SS Libra, and we got attacked by some Team Snagum thugs. Apparently, they're still around after five years of being in the shadows. So we got a tip from the guy in the SS Libra that he saw them heading towards a facility. And so now we're gonna head there. Might I add that our scooter's looking mighty snazzy with that hover drive on it. So this, uh, this looks like a place. Doesn't look like a nice place. We've been spotted, so there's no point in hiding anymore. Who are we? We're Team Snagum. Oh, hey, it's Zook. We haven't seen you since episode three? Future me, find out which episode we first met Zook in and put it, put it right here. Can't rightly say I know them. See, he doesn't know either. It's bringing tears to my eye. I'm Kai. I used to work with Ugwe. We should go. We should leave this up to, to Gonzap. Be quiet. We finally managed to track down Cypher, haven't we? We're not just leaving now. Hey, you, you big lunk. We have business in that building. Step, Stand aside if you don't want to get hurt. Lunk? Zook smash! You're not getting away with this. And we get to watch another battle. This is the... Not the first time this has happened ever. I can think of at least one other instance where it happened in this game. But... He has a Zangus. He's a Shadow Zangus. As it turns out, Zangus is not, not bad. And Oz is kind of bad. Ah, darn it. Also, I just realized his name is Biden. When I first played this game, that really did not have all that much significance. But now, Joe Biden. <laughs> Waken must have reached the hideout now and given the snag machine to Gonzap. Hey, you want more of where that came from? Ugh. We'll pull back and regroup. Let's get back to the hideout. You're not running off with them? You've got guts, but... Huh? Wait a second! You're the that brat that was at Gaty on board! What are you doing here? You're nothing but bad news! Ever since I saw you, I've had nothing but the worst luck! First, at Gaty on port, some guy challenged me to a battle out of the blue and promptly stopped me, stopped me flat. Then Gorgon gave me one major dressing down for showing our Shadow Pokemon without permission. Because of that, he made me stand guard here as punishment. There's one thing I can't figure out, though. How did Gorg Gorgon ever find out about me anyway? Gah! I rem remember that was getting me riled. This time, I'll flatten you! So, we're battling Thug Zook here. And, uh, he has Shadow Zangoose, but we don't have our Snag Machine. So, we don't really have a choice. In this battle, we're just going to have to KO it. We will get a chance to snag it later, but obviously for now, can't do anything about it. So, I'm gonna leave Houndoom in uh, and just use Flamethrower because we haven't seen that yet. And uh, we're gonna go for a lovely little brick break on Zangus here. So let's see how much this Flamethrower does. And it one hit KO'd it. <laughs> Even though it wasn't super effective. And now he's sending out Carvana. The water dark type has rough skin for its ability, so if you attack it with a physical move, uh, you will get free foil damage. Not you for it. Uh, bye bye, Zangoose. Yeah, that Zangoose is actually pretty, pretty tough. Terms of the fact that it has a good attack stat and you know, Shadow Rush is a physical move. So, 
I can use Mega Drain with Greyloom on Carvana, and that'll actually be good because it won't be attacking it physically. And I suppose I can go... I'll just leave in Houndoom for the time being. And wait, did I... I'm going to make sure that I didn't attack uh, Carvana with that. Yeah, aside from that one Shadow Rush, uh, we haven't been touched yet. Although, Sid Viper will probably be doing some kind of damage turn. Alright, so let's see how much we get back from that. It's going to get us not completely back to full health, but... It was a one-hit KO, so I'm pretty happy about that. So Houndoom grew to level 28. Oh, look at that increase. So good. Our special attack is at 73. That's pretty nice. He is sending out Relicanth, which is a water rock type. Set up his poison tail. That hurt. And he's probably going to poison me. Or not. Okay, cool. Um, I guess we can just basically do the same thing that we did last turn. These are his last two Pokemon. Yeah, this fight really isn't all that bad. It's, the only thing that you can really have a lot of trouble with is the Shadow Zangus, because if you don't get that thing off the field quickly, then it's gonna hurt a lot. Alright, Relic Ends is Rock Tomb, probably on Hadoo. Okay, on Breloom. Sure. Have it, have it your way. Uh, and we'll just... I'm gonna go for the Mach Punch. It'll actually be super effective, since fighting is effective super effective against Rock. Bye, Relicanth. I remember, for Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, you had to catch one of those to get some of the legendaries in that game. That was fun. By fun, I mean not fun at all because they were pretty rare. You can only find them while diving. This can't be happening! So Zook is kind of a mini boss. Because you fluked out, you only won because you got lucky. That No, I'm pretty sure I just owned you. So, this is a really cool looking building. Uh, it has an, you know, a pyramid on the top and you can see you know, there's a bottom side to it as well. At the moment, we can't get in. There are just two really muscular guys that won't let us pass. So, we have no choice but to leave. So this is Sack of OMBS. Thomas, something's come up. Your help is urgently me needed. Come see me at OMBS in Pirate Town as soon as possible. Alright, so we have our next objective. It is going to Pirate Town. So another thing that I need to take care of is I should get some Poke Snacks and actually lay them out at some of the Poke Spots. I'm going to stop in the shop here real quick. Do, the, do you guys actually carry them? I guess we're gonna find out. Yep, Poke Snacks. There we go. <laughs> Quantity held zero. Yep, uh, that is good. I don't think we really need. Yeah, we we haven't used any of them. And we're yeah we're still good on Pokeballs too. So I'm gonna head out to the various different Poke spots real quick and lay out some snacks, and then I'll meet you right back here. Alright, so I am back. It really didn't take me all that long to lay out all the snacks, but I saved you a little bit of hassle. So uh, we're going to head to the OMBS building here. Hmm, I'm actually going to check up on... Well, actually, I can't. I can't check on that from the vending machine. I want to look at how many healing items I have. Two fresh waters, two lemonades, and one moo moo milk. So I think I'm actually going to purchase a few of these drinks. Uh, we have two fresh waters. Uh, fresh waters are the same as 
uh, super potions, and they're actually a lot cheaper, so they heal 50 HP. But we already have some super potions, so I think I'll go for the soda pops and lemonades. Alright, so we've splurged enough on drinks for now. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. These floors are always so shiny. I know it's a video game and that, you know, they made them shiny once when they were designing it, but if you think about the in-universe implications, Janitor is doing a really good job. And we're almost there. It'd be nice if there's just one central elevator and you could take it all the way up. All right, let's let's talk. Net, can't you do something? Uh, wait. Did I go to talk to the wrong person? I know Sec was the one who sent me the email. Team Sec must be operating on its own. I I guess. Huh. Uh, let me check that email. I'm going to open up my P Star DA for you know once in a really long time. Uh, mailbox. No, he definitely said at ONBS in Pyrite Town. That's because his office is on a different floor. All right, so let's head to his office. It's not on this floor, right? Yeah, it's a floor down. Yep, okay, it's right here. Thomas, I'm glad you're here. I've been waiting for you. Huh? What happened to your left arm? Weren't you wearing the snag machine on it? Thomas explained what had happened. I see, this, it was Team Snagum's doing. I'm not, it's not surprising they wanted your snag machine. Up to five years ago, Team Snagum was in a partnership with Cypher. But when they lost their snag machine, Cypher gave them up as a lost cause. I thought Team Snagum just folded after that. They must have spotted your snag machine somewhere. Oh my. I'll start investigating Team Snagum right away. I'll let you know as soon as we discover anything. Oh, right. I'd forgotten completely about this email message I received. You see, OMBS got contacted by someone who claimed to have fled from Cypher's base. We debated sending out a news team immediately, but there's no guarantee that it won't be a trap or another risky situation. I hate to impose, but could you go and investigate for us, Thomas? Thank you. I know We know that you can be entrusted with this, Thomas. The man who contacted us is named Hortle. He said it'll be at the outskirts stand. So, if you're familiar with Pokemon Coliseum, this that was actually the very first area in that game. And so we're fi finally getting to go there in Pokemon XD. So, luckily, since we actually had to go to Sex Office, it's not too long of a run out of here. <laughs> Of course, we do have to run through Pyrite Town. Yay, running! Every time I hear the snaps here, I get reminded of West Side Story. All right, we're finally out. And we're heading to the outskirts stand. Oh, hey! Our mirror radar's going off. Uh-oh. I detect swag incoming. Blech. Who did I ever... Oh, sorry, that was, that was a burp. Not a blech. <laughs> Who did I ever pig out? 
That was the first decent food I've had in too long, I tell you. Yeah, it's great and all, truly, but what are, are we doing the right thing living this way? I worry about my future. You know? Maybe I really need to consider changing my lifestyle. Don't worry you going on about folly. You're not your usual self. Don't tell me you've forgotten the boss's dream. We're going to own all the Pokemon in the whole wide world. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Choo! Achoo! Oh, boss. Whoa! Did I overhear you two talking about me? Well, if it isn't that super aggravating little boy who served me up a bit of memory at the Poké Spot! Whoa! What perfect timing! For a little exercise after my meal, I'll wipe you out with my elegant steps. Let the music start! Alright, so we have another forced boss fight with Wanderer Mirror B. So his team is going to be comprised of Lombres. And basically only Lombres. Ah. Alright, Breloom. I, I like Breloom being out on the field. It will resist water and grass type attacks. Houndoom, however, will be weak to water, so I think I'm going to switch. Switch him out. Unfortunately, Baltoy is weak to water as well. I'd like to send him out, but uh, I don't want to have to deal with that. So I, th I think I'm going to send out Flaffy and then uh, Breloom. Let's get to work. Also, Flaffy is actually really close to a ball. I just remembered that. Oh, that's beautiful. Something just so satisfying about watching an entire HP bar work help drain in one hit. And Lombre is using Mega Drain. He should go on Brave. <laughs> well, actually, you got a critical hit. So we'll, we'll probably have to heal up Brave if they keep targeting him. Uh, this one goes down just as easily. <laughs> Alright, I think he has a total of five Pokemon. So, Flaffy grew to level 30. So, as long as we finish this battle, uh, we're going to have an Ampharos now. So, his one Pokemon that is not a Lombre is a Shadow Nose Pass. So, this is a Pokemon unique to uh, Mirror B. He's the only one who has this. You can't get it from anyone else before it. And uh, he will have it with him as long as you don't have another Shadow Pokemon out that you need to catch. And uh, he'll always have it at this fight. So this is the first chance that you'll be able to uh, have to catch it. Uh, it's not the last though, so if you accidentally KO it, you know, it'll work basically just the same as any other Shadow Pokemon. And, uh, oh, actually, his last Pokemon is a Ludicolo. So this guy's gonna be a little bit more resilient. So, Nose Pass is a rock type. That wasn't somewhat obvious. Alright, cool, we got we got a paralyzed. Uh, I'm gonna go for body slam and hmm. actually you know what I guess I'm gonna double target Lud Ludicolo because I'm not actually sure if Braylon's gonna be able to take it out in one hit. It is fully evolved. Yep. Alright so he's setting up a rain dance. Uh, this is one of Mirror B's favorite strategies. Uh because Ludicolo can have one of two abilities. Uh, the first of which is Swift Swim, which will double its speed in rain. And the other one is Rain Dish, which will restore HP whenever it's raining. So the rain's gonna keep on falling here, uh, but it's really not gonna accomplish much of anything. Uh, if we had Thunder on Flaffy, then we could go for Thunder, but obviously we don't wanna kill the Nose Pass. All right, I think I'm just gonna you know what, just just for the heck of it, I'm going to throw this out. 
Dang. I guess we're not ca capturing this. I totally forgot that we still don't have a snag machine yet. So you actually can't snag it at this point in time. That's unfortunate. Well, uh, it was nice knowing you nose pass. You, uh, you will soon be unconscious. See, it actually t it tanked that pretty well. For being level 26 compared to, a, you know, level 29 Breloom. Not too shabby. And that's all there is to this fight. I kind of forgot that they actually forced you to knock out two Shadow Pokemon in a row before you can actually get your Snag Machine back. Spoilers for getting it back. And uh, we got money for winning. But thank you, Mirabee, that was fabulous. Alright, Flakey's evolving. And Flakey evolved to Ampharos. Now, Ampharos looks especially derpy in this game. Uh, just because I think they used the same model from uh, Pokemon Stadium. Ooh! I I think we should. So Thunder Punch is a 75 power uh, electric type move. Uh, in this game, it technically counts as a special type move, so it'll work off of special attack. In future games, it ends up being a an electric type move, but it's a physical move because it, you know it's a punch, obviously. So this move is actually better for Ampharos in this game when compared to future games because it can actually make use of its you know huge special attack stat oh how dare you i say how dare you next time i'll put things right and lay down my elegant steps let's go escape All right, so uh, with that battle, we're actually kind of getting up there on time for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Red X Parasite, signing out.